This deck is like playing with Mega Bloks, but you just build a wall of cubes for your opponent to ram their head into repeatedly. This deck isn't difficult to understand or learn. It's a stall deck through and through, and while it doesn't run Tenacity of the Millilith or a plethora of healing cards like standard stall decks, its character cards are all resilient. Both the Cryo and Electro Hypostasis can take considerable damage, die, and then resurrect. And when factoring in their skill cards, the cubes can do this multiple times over easily thwarting opposing OTK decks and forcing the opponents to waste resources in an attempt to take them down. Kokomi can also force the opponent to waste resources with her burst healing herself and both the cubes with each normal attack. In most cases, the deck will start with Kokomi. Kokomi will often start by simply using her normal attacks to build energy for her burst. Kokomi's burst, when triggered with her burst card, will automatically summon her jellyfish without needing to apply Hydro to herself. Between the two cubes, the Cryo Cube is far better for early game pressure and stalling with its cheaper skill cost and piercing attacks. The Electro Cube is better late game and with the deck's action card combos for dealing large amounts of damage or closing out the game. The action card combo is the new, standard, Gilded Dreams artifact dice trap combo. When activated at the end of the round, this can let the Electro Cube sneak out its skill and deal massive damage against the opponent after they end their round. Naturally, a copy of Yayoi Nanatsuki and the Boar Princess are paired with two copies of Gilded Dreams, Verukasha's Glow, Shadow of the Sand King, and Liar Song. These are the main pieces for the artifact combo, and starting hands should usually include Shadow of the Sand King or Verukasha's Glow. Seed Dispensary is also useful in the starting hand, as it pairs well with many of the deck's one-cost cards, including the Cryo Cube's skill card. And considering that skill cards play a critical role in the deck's efficacy, two copies of each character's skill card, along with two copies of Storm Terror's Lair, are in the deck to ensure that they are consistently drawn. The rest of the deck is fairly standard. Vonarana is great for hoarding dice and pairing with the artifact combo for massively outpacing the opponent on dice. The bestest travel companion helps with dice rigging to ensure that the two cubes can use their skills, especially the electro cube, and the food cards are there for sustain, with even a Tavat fried egg for even more resurrections. With that being said though, let's get into some matches and see how the deck does. Okay, we're up against this. Probably just have to see if, uh, interesting, they don't have any gold cards there. Um, and probably just have to see if they highball their weapons and stuff first. That's kind of going to be the big thing. The swirl is going to be scary of killing them through this kind of stuff. Uh, we don't want a whole lot of this early. I guess I'll keep one of those just in case. Wow, it's not really that great either. Uh, how do we want to play this? They'll probably play Mona. Um, if they're smart, they'd go... I mean, they get to go first anyway, so we're going to get swirled regardless. So might as well go Kokomi. Like, the, the swirl is going to probably happen regardless of what we do. So we have to think on whether or not I even want to stay on the Kokomi or just let her take the hit. I mean, eventually we're going to take Swirl anyways, so again, it feels like it's smarter just to get the Kokomi damage out. And we'll have enough to use her skill and attack again to have the burst, so we'll see where this goes. Also, just again, depends on what they do, if they've got a lot of... Uh... Let me scribe. A lot of Watchamabob, a lot of uh, weapons and stuff early on. 
They might also just have a uh, send off into just Lieben. My guess is they're probably going to do something into the Lieben there, so that way they can go for freeze combos early. But I'm not going to get off of Kokomi anytime soon here. Okay, food. Interesting that they're running that. I don't see a Chef Mao yet. Okay, so they are going to let this go to there. Fast action to there, ends round. Sure, interesting. Um, and then we and drop this down. Yeah, way, yay, he gets the swirl. That's uh, fine by me. Um, because we're in position to just start bursting through stuff, so. Okay, that's not bad. We've got our other Vonorana here. We do have the burst. I'm gonna keep the cryo just in case. Naturally, they can, uh, they can probably, they might have Catherine and just try, well, or they just have regular quick swap to go for the freeze, but then they don't get their swirl off, so. Yeah, they're gonna go skill and then just keep trying to, to move everything around there, cause that's gonna hit him, which, you know, I guess that's cool. Um, not too concerned about that though. Can we draw her skill card maybe? That's not her skill card. That's unfortunate. Um, yeah, we're still just going to go for the burst. We also have this potentially for him with the cryo, so. Or uh, this one, rather, for the cryo, then. Forgot I was going to go to him. Uh huh. In fact, hear me out. What if we just play this? That'll take him to eight. And then drop this. And we've got a bunch of dice for the next setup here. Um, that way, because they're going to have a bunch of dice as well. So this might be the smarter choice. Plus we get the end first, which can help us keep her alive. Because that's going to be uh, a lot of damage coming in there. Mm, yeah, you know, it is probably better to do that. And now we, we play it patiently here. They are probably running artifacts just like we are, so we do have to worry about surprise dice, but I figured they're going to let that go to Lieben. This heals him up quite a bit. We're going to be able to keep healing ourselves up, matching the dice. Okay, and get rid of this stuff. We also have that, which is fine, so. Yeah, I think, because this will take us to nine. They, they could potentially kill uh, here, but we can easily just swap around. Okay. Ow. Okay, so yeah, it'd be eight if we went there. That's fine because we can just go over to here and not care um, and just force them to waste stuff more than anything. So I'm kind of all right with that. Because yeah, if we attacked again, yeah, that would obviously be eight. We'd still lose Coco Me. We'd probably be able to kill him off, but it wouldn't be worth it. So. We have this thing to heal with, so I'm not too concerned. There's the burst. Ouch. I'm not too concerned about that, because we have this. Okay, energy. I was about to say, they're definitely not going to stay on there. But we can do a hefty bit of damage to her. And I'm kind of all right with that. Yeah. 
Yeah, that I am perfectly fine with here. That is a-okay for me. Um, do I want to play this before this? Probably not at this point. Um, I'm just get no. I'm gonna keep the die. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the die. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play her yet because I can always play her for free anyway. So why why waste the die there? Yeah, now there's an argument for having played it, but it's not too big deal. And we have another one of those. We would like our storm terrors. That would be very helpful here. But we can start setting up dice combos on them. So, yeah, they're going to have quite a bit to go through. Especially with this coming in. Okay. Shutter. Ouch. And not too concerned with this, because again, we have this. So I am not really all that afraid. And we have this combo. So, yeah, I'm pretty good with this. So that's gone. We also have this if we need it. Switching to Mona. So they're just trying to make us waste things. Um, we're going to deal with this probably the hard way here. And again, we can still convert for this. So not worried here. Healing onto him. Okay. Now, if I play this into that, I drop this for one, create two dice. It's not really worth it at this point. Um, there are better things that we could be doing. So they're just going to kind of wait this out. I could try to... Uh... No, I still think I just want the three dice at this point. The, the three dice is going to be much better. We're just, we're just biding our time here. They're going to try to go for, what, Mona Burst? Freeze into Mona Burst, very likely. I'm fine with that. There's Kokomi's thing. There's a Vorokasha. Okay. Electro, Pyro. We don't need that. We'll keep the Cryo, though. We're, we're, we're waiting for the Cryo Cube to start coming out. That's not great, but we can always mess around with it with this stuff that we've got, so. Normal attack. Ouch. But wait, we're back. So, no big deal there. Um, we can also potentially put Vrakasha uh, uh, on him, but that's gonna burst kill. So, well, we'll res it again. So, it's, this is, again, this is, this is a stall, is what this is. This is one massive stall, so I'm kind of alright with this. Like, by all means. Okay. We're back. We have this, which is nice. Um, because that's going to draw some cards for people. We also have Kokomi stuff. Um, maybe we pull out this cube just in case they try to do anything funky. They'll probably... If they switch to him, we get the... Mm, you know, I'm not too bothered by that, actually. Um, yeah, I think it's time to bring out this cube. Because he's going to react with everything anyways and start generating card draw. More healing there. Are they going for a jet setup? There's a lot of a lot of stuff that would imply jet. Um, yeah, I probably should have played this first, but whatever just realized that would have helped me draw a card um no big deal again do we need this just yet or do we go for something here um hmm. well this is gonna probably do well we could potentially kill the mona but it does force them onto one of these guys for a lot of damage 
Um, I mean, they're gonna be able to swap anyway, so you'll be able to, to heal. I still feel like I want them to waste their stuff on him. So maybe we just drop this and head on back. That might be the smarter choice here, because they're going to get a lot of healing in. Okay, double Coco me is not really what we're looking for. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna drop back on over there. Yeah, now we can set up the combo here soon. They kind of left us in a position where maybe we could have with double of this, and it might have been smarter to. But we're gonna force them to go for stuff here on cube. And we have an egg, and we have double of these. So once she goes down, which we can just drop her right there, we should be good. I think we we work with Coco me here more than anything. Kokomi skill, because now they're they're left to doing something. They have to waste this on him, and we can just egg him. Okay, are they gonna swap to her to do something? Nope, they're just gonna do that, and then prepare probably for something here. Um, if she bursts, right? Like, who cares? As long as we get this out, um, unless, um, she bursts for two, it's gonna do three, they don't have wolves or anything, yeah, it just seems like a better Take idea heart. to get Coco me out. Will be ours. Hold the line. Fast action there, okay. Behold! Now, interesting thing is, I feel like I could set up for a kill here, potentially, if I do egg, swap over, drop this, play this, and then start going. I don't know why you'd want to use my Electro over my Geo. In fact, I can actually just use this and then just go. Or do I want to use that? Do I want to place this first? Can I get two off of there? If I place this for zero, drop this for one, it gives me five. I use four, pull it again for one. Nah, I'm not going to have enough. I'll have dice left over, but I won't have enough. So I think it's better just to use the Paimon. Okay, now he's out of the way. And she's going to be dead because this is going to hit that. So that was really dumb of him. To, well, this is going to heal first, so she won't be dead. Um, he is obviously going to be dead. Unless I, like, Vokasha switch off to something. This is going to heal the two... that. We don't get any extra dice. This is unfortunate, but we do have plenty of things to work with, so I don't think we should be too concerned. Okay, it's looking pretty good. We do have to be concerned that he can get frozen, so if we do swap to him, we expect this to come in doing, like, six freeze. Freeze to the core! Burst does come out. Um... Again, that doing five there is a problem because we don't have a means of actually healing here, so we do have to go for him. Which means the freeze is coming out. She has Electro on her, so I'm not too concerned about her. There's no way they're not going to freeze him, right? Because they're not going to just let him go wild. So I think we do that. And then just prep for it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I am just gonna kill then. What a 
great. Now, they might have egg. But I'm not I'm not seeing that. Uh yeah, it ain't gonna work, Chief. You're literally dead. Yeah, you're quite literally dead. Yeah, they they see what's about to happen. They're about to get whacked with with the uh with the artifacts. So there you go, overcoming that one. Okay, interesting. I've got an overload team here, kind of reverse sweepy with him, so... I do have to be concerned here a little bit. The overload can mess with stuff, though we can start dealing with some stuff with, um... We go first, so I probably don't want to start with Kokomi unless I just want to start getting the Hydro out. Um... I don't know if I want this right now. That's fine. The cube is fine. Um, this is fine because it's free that. Okay, egg isn't great. Where do we want to start with? Maybe with this cube? Um, really just kind of depends. We can always just normal attack with her and then see what's up. So that's an option as well. Hmm. Take heart. Victory will be ours. Yeah, so we can we can mess around with that. They might just try to stall out on the Yoimiya. Uh, I wanted at least another hydro. Your penance is due. I could use one of these. Yeah. I mean, I'm thinking, do I want to save the uses for something else, but what else am I going to say? See, this was certainly worth it. Just go for the normal attacks here right now. Until we actually need something. Time for a light show. Elemental skill is coming out. That's fine. Obviously, I am not going to... Uh, Kinda wish I had Vonorana here. I'm obviously not gonna sit there and uh, do anything silly with this. Normal attack, cool. I am gonna drop this just in case. They might have spare dice. They might have, um, well, they'll probably have Electro Resonance, but yeah, we're just gonna hold off on this then. Nope, yeah, they're gonna go for quick burst on her to try to pair it with this. So we are going to have to be careful with that. Oh, we got her burst card, which is very nice. We do want more card drawly things, though. That is a problem. So we've got a lot of electro. I don't know if I want the electro yet, because... Well, I guess, theoretically, if I need to, I can play into it. Certainly looks like I'm going to need to play into it. Because um, I would like to just do that and get the stuff out already. Um, now that still might be better just to have this out and then just Electro for normal stuff. Just normal attack Electro. Um, or again, we go over there. And then just start hitting, but they're gonna burst into overload. But we do have the the cubes thing, so maybe this isn't that big of a deal. But then we're kind of wasting dice here as well when we have the the opportunity to do something. So this is this is a, a hard one to know. And if we take that, we take three damage, which is gonna put us at five, and then that's gonna come in and probably kill. I think we have to actually go over here, unfortunately. It's not the greatest use of dice, but we, we kind of don't have a choice. Now we have to see, do they have energy cards? Because that's going to mess with things. They do. Granted, that doesn't actually give them a lot. Unless they have, they may have spare dice. Ouch. Ouch. 
They are going to swap to her, so they probably do have spare dice. But lo and behold, they do. And they're, you know what? If they're going to convert cards for that, by all means. Ow. He's going to be back in a moment anyway, so... Ow. Yeah, this is obviously their combo that they're going for. Um, and they've pretty much already used a round of it. Uh, we can uh, do some stuff here. If anything, to swap back over to, to him or there. Um, so I'm not too concerned right now. They might have more spared dice. Well, wouldn't matter. That's very helpful. So is that, actually. Lots of cryo, which is nice. They unfortunately get an extra die, which is not nice. We have this, but it's too, too expensive. We have this for free, which is nice. If we do this, I mean, yeah, some damage. We're going to heal a little. We can heal a bit there. We can heal him a little bit. Um think it's worth doing. Yeah, she's gonna get overloaded, but we do get him out. I'm just worried about the dice. We have to kind of mitigate here. Thankfully, this can come down for free. And then, boom, we get to draw that, which is not half bad. Catherine, okay, so quick swap to him, okay. With the gamblers, I don't think you're gonna get much for kills here, because we can, we can easily dodge this. Ow. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm all right with that, I guess. Does he have a spare die? Does it matter if he has a spare die? If he attacks for three, it'll do what? Plus That's five plus one. He still lives. I don't think we have to worry too much here because he is still going to live. Um, and so if anything, we can just kind of run this one through. Though if we do, we lose the the potential cryo. The, or the Hydro for the setup for the Freeze or the Electro. I mean, we're going to lose it anyways when we get hit, right? So it's, what does it matter? Once the Nazi key is out here, then we can start doing more. Nowhere to run. Ow. That's one. And you left it on that, so... Um, don't think you're going to have the dice to do anything. Uh, and we can just... Oh, crap, he does. We should have We should have swapped. Dang, that's unfortunate. We have egg. Oh, and he has another. That's not bad. Surrender. <laughs> Yeah, we should have swapped back then. That's unfortunate. We still have this, though. I'm not too concerned with it. Egg. This heals. We have this going on for us. She just healed that. He dies pretty much next round. That would have been nice last round. We just kind of have to worry about the kitsing here. Because the overload is what's going to mess with stuff a lot. Um... And that's probably where they're going to be assuming we do this straight into the overload. Puts us back here. Kill, potentially. So, let's see. Uh, yeah, I don't want to play that. Because um, that's going to mess with this. If I do this, we, we could make him waste a die. He over well again we still get overloaded so that's a problem isn't it that's the issue the issue is the overload unless we egg egg and then attack and then do that on him and then we just stall it out some more uh, that's the other option
So we take him out, and we convert something, uh, maybe that, uh, and then heal him up. We should be good. My judgment. Because that's probably going to come out. Failed. If not, then boom, we just plop that back on him. Drop this. But we do have to be careful. We're at three dice. We don't have a whole lot we can do. They can do quite a bit. But it doesn't look like they're rocking a whole lot of healing. Okay, she's going to come out. Okay, normal attack? Or is she just going to wait it out? Interesting. Onto her. Overload. Okay. Don't blink. That's fine. They're setting up for burst kill is what they're doing right there. Interesting. Um, but we can still avoid this because that's what they're doing. They're, they're setting up for a burst kill. Um, that's going to be an issue. Okay. Yeah, this goes, this comes out. Swap back him. Yep, because here comes normal attack. They don't have any cards, so if they don't draw the right dice, it's going to be a thing for them to worry about. Mm hmm. The only card they've got is that one to convert. No more special surprise dice. I tend to forget that people even run that card anymore. Back to Yoimiya. They end cool. Now well, we've got that still going for us. Yeah, we could have used that a while ago. Because again, we still have to worry about this. They're just they're just biding their time. And we don't have Liar Song, which is a problem, because that would have helped us a lot. Normal attack. Uh huh. Again, they can still. And they can still do the the thing here where she flies back in and gets a kill. So if they have gamblers, we have to be worried about that. Else, we swap over to here. Do our thing there. Play this. And we do have to worry. We know they're running gamblers, so they might have it. If we do this... If they kill this and force us over there, we use his skill and kind of go for a Hail Mary here, using this to weaken, put the Electro, that kills an end phase if they don't have send off. And that is what they're doing. So yeah, we, we run with that. And then that's what we, we, we have no real choice there. Because that puts it at two. Friend, two friend. I haven't lost yet, maybe, comes out, but you need four to do that. If they kill, we still hit. Yeah, we managed to win. Oh, a pretty close one. I miscalculated their arcane card, but we came out on top. The stall of cube is strong. Okay, we've got a hyper bloom kind of thing going on there. They're going for bursts, primarily hers, it looks like. So we are going to have to deal with that. And then they're just going to go for OTK, so we're going to have to push through that. And we get to go first here. This is fine. This can help set up for stuff. Um, this isn't terrible. I don't know if I want that actually right now, or this. Um, this actually could be helpful. I'm going to go for a somewhat aggressive start. This will be nice. Um, how do we want to start it? Maybe getting the cube out first to do stuff. We could go for Kokomi first. But I'm going to go with cube. 
Could have went for Coco Me too, actually, but uh. Okay, put that down. Vokasha on her, sure. Uh, how do we want to play this? I guess I probably just head over there to Coco me then. It's not going to make too big of a difference if I freeze Take or heart. don't freeze here. Will be ours. I mean, I'm going to be wasting a lot of dice if I don't, but not going to make a huge difference. Unless they just want to go first, which is precisely what they're going to do. They're going to try to go first, but we could very, very easily freeze them out of it unless they have energy in hand. Um, so, I'm just going to get that down and then drop this and hope maybe for a Vonorana. Not a Vonorana, but you know what? I'm fine with it. Yeah, that's helpful. They're going to have the extra dice. They're probably not going to let me just sit there and hit her. So they might swap or they might have energy. Mm, not bad for a Kokomi thing. I don't think I want the Electro. I think I'm going to just go between Cryo Cube and Kokomi here for a little bit. They do have the energy. Now Lo and behold. Perish. Ouch. So, that's fine. We can just use our thing here. Uh, Allow me. So now we have to deal with her. Unfortunate, but not the end of the world. There is Elemental no skill comes out. Sure. Now, maybe we just go over to Q. Like, I could do that, but do I really want to right now? That's the question, and I don't really know if I've got the answer for that. Huh. So I think we just go over and let this cube tank it. After all, we can always play this cube stuff for free if we really wanted to. They'll probably just stay there and let the freeze happen, yeah. That's fine. We're just delaying here at this point. Giving them cards, unfortunately, but we are delaying. Yeah, I think we're fine with this. Because again, we can play his stuff for free. Okay. Unfortunately, this will go off for that. Unless we want to do a double... Mm, no, I'm going to hold off on that. I was thinking a double uh, Storm Terrors. But if anything, I guess we can just use the Animo. The thing we got to worry about is they're still messing with us on dice. Though we could always, with that, they switch to Yelon. Cool. Um, not too concerned about that right now. Because we can do some funny business. Um, so I am fine with just dropping this and then waiting for the madness to happen. Do they have her skill card? No, they're just going to go for the normal attack on it. That's fine. Um, because now we could potentially do some crazy business with him. Game's up. Mm-hmm. Ouch. So. Gonna drop that. Uh, not that that's gonna really help us much, um, but it is nice to have. And now we start cubing it up. nice gamblers okay what are they? they might not make it like we might still be able to just wipe this really quickly 
Um, well, no. If I pull this, I have to play it for one. So that's only going to give me two. And I pull it again, and I play it for... You know, whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's going to work here. Uh, huh. If we go for four, I mean, if he does this, it has to do a follow-up, though. And is this with, this with a normal attack? So if we get hit down to three, and he does anything, and this could be a bit risky here with, with that. Because um, we can't pull this right now, which is annoying. But at the same time, they have to get off of her, I suppose, so... That's something to consider. I think I'm fine just to wait for now. Ouch. It's gonna heal us to there. Oh, that's gonna go for him, I forgot. That's not gonna aim for her. I always forget that goes for the closest. So they still have to swap off of her, which is fine for us. Now we just have to, like, stall out the OTKs, really. They, they quick swap. Okay. He's going to put that on him. Sure. Going to do the burst. Sure. I mean, we are going to res, so. Ouch. And now, if we heal the four, I mean, yeah, he does dendro damage, but... Who cares? I am just gonna pull this back just in case. Just just, just to have it back. Just in case we need it for something. And then, yeah, we're just gonna drop that and stall out your entire game plan. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, look. We're back. So, you know, that's something to consider. Um, now, we could potentially just let him get the, the kill here. I'm kind of fine with that, because then we can probably just run it through with... Well, if he attacks, he's going to end up getting the kill on, like, multiple things and get the dice. But then we can just run it back with that. So, I'm kind of fine if we let Kokomi die. Um... Because he's, what, going to get two dice? Yay, he doesn't really have a whole lot going for him there. So I'm kind of all right if we just let Kokomi die. Do we have any food for her? No. Um, just going to play that. You'll need a strategy. Eh, go ahead, kill Kokomi. Knock yourself out. Cube's coming back and starting to swing. Okay. I guess that means you get the end first. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. Let's learn from my mistakes. Now, the smartest choice is to still just go to here. If they have something up their sleeve that's going to let him attack for two. No, they're just going to swap back to her. That's fine. Um, because, again, we still have plenty of things that we can be doing here. Um, so I am a-okay with this. Cube is about to cube it up. And we have Liar Song. From the Another one. I haven't lost yet, okay. They shouldn't have swapped then. Yeah, it's still, you have two. They should not have swapped if that way they had. Well, they couldn't have activated. I haven't lost yet, so they didn't have a choice. Yeah, they're they're done here. This would kill in and of itself, but I'm just not gonna let that happen. Yeah, they're not even gonna let it. This this combo is too good. Okay, this is a. Uh interesting one. They're going for big bursts, I guess. Um, a Mere Maiden skill card is something we're gonna have to look out for. This isn't half bad. There's a lot of stuff for getting things out cheap. Uh, or cheaply, rather. Um, I think we can potentially roll with this. We get to go first. Who are they gonna run with? Maybe getting her out? Or just go for her? 
this is the tricky one. Is it's who do we who do we think they're gonna go for here? We could just go for the classic Coco me normal attacks and see Take what heart. happens, which Victor I think is be gonna ours. be the the smarter choice. Uh, because odds are they're probably just gonna hit us in the face. And then we have really only enough to do some simple normal attacks. I don't really think we need to play this right now. Um, because I don't think we're going to have to worry too much about swapping or anything. So we can do that. And then just normal attack it. Paimon comes out, sure. Interesting. Very interesting. Playing a lot of their cards without a lot of card draw, but there they do have no a lot escape. of other things. Um, okay, I'm going to put this then on to you. See what we get here. Not half bad. Um, that might be worth playing out potentially, uh, but I am going to do this again that way. We've got everything set up. Okay, they do have some card draw going. That's they're not that bad. This is going to come in and help deal with us on some things. Um, I guess I reveal this early, just to have it there, just in case. They know for a fact that I'm playing Gilded now. I mean, it's not like it's... They don't know when Gilded's going to be there. And look, we got the this stuff here, so... That would have been nice last round. I would have probably prioritized that. Well, it wouldn't have mattered. The cryo is a potential. Um, the cryos are only potential, unless we're going to use this, which I usually want to save for cube. They do have energy. Now you shall perish. Ouch. Um, can we get to draw this? So this burst could come in and do six and kill potentially if we're not careful. Um, so actually this burst could come in and do seven and kill if they have quick swap. So because that's there. So yeah, we should probably uh, do something about that, shouldn't we? That is that is quite the the consideration here. I think we just swap off a of coke me for a moment. We didn't have the stuff for it anyway, so why why stay there and risk stuff? They're not gonna care if I freeze them, but they are gonna try to go for that. That's their their end goal here. Um, they can get upwards to eight damage, so we would like to be able to draw stuff. If they uh, do this, great. It's two, and it'll break through this. Um, they are going to burst. That's going to be seven. Or no, six. Never mind, because they didn't have that active. Okay. Uh, could go for that. Could just swap back over to here. Could just play stuff and not care. How do we want to do this? I mean, it takes... They don't have their thing, so it's not taking more. Um, and they didn't use our stuff. Um, hmm. This is going to come in and do two, which would be a problem. And so I'm thinking we just play this. Drop a Vonorana. And then just kind of see what happens. They could have spare dice if they do grand i guess i mean i do believe that they already used one over there for her so switching to official fair enough they're gonna try to go for a big burst there with her but that's too piercing to worry about it is of course also five coming in um we do have this we do have egg this would keep us alive but not really could always go to the other cube The other cube may be our salvation here. Uh, else we just start swinging. And if we attack twice, it's going to be six off of us, which is going to only leave us with four. We could theoretically use her burst. Um, so that could be beneficial, or we could summon a fish. 
and jellyfish might be helpful potentially. Oz, reveal thyself. Elemental skill comes out. Again, this thing's gonna do five anyways, so there's no point in playing this on him. Now, if they have send off, that's obviously a problem. Okay. There is the burst, as expected. Cube is back, however. Now we have an issue um, because anything electro charge related will kill Cube. So we could just stay on Cube and have four showing and force them to do something. But then Cube dies one way or the other, I feel. Um, do they have quick swap or anything to potentially get back over there? That's the that's the tricky thing, isn't it? We'll need a strategy. And switching to her potentially to just tank this, potentially to just normal attack. Um, and then switching back. I feel like the smartest move here is to just do this. And then let my dice go there, and I'll out dice them next round. Because we'll have another one of those. Okay, what are we drawing here? Okay, and they have quick swap, so that's going to be a thing to be concerned about. They're going to base things around quick swapping to her. But they have to get off of her, I guess, so maybe they just quick swap the official. No, they're just going to go for that. For the damage coming in, there's going to be two damage coming in. Varukasha triggers, which is nice. This is just going to put the freeze. I forgot the freeze is going to go right here. You have two, so we at least don't have to worry about instant electro charge mess. Here comes two coming in. Ouch. We have another one of these. We have that. We have this. A little late here. It's a lot of electro, and I don't know if I want that right now. He's in a position where he could theoretically do things, but That's it. this is a risky one here. We might want to stall it out for another round here. I don't think cube is the, the play for it. Okay, there's very caution there. Again, they could quick swap and do stuff that would be problematic because they could... Well, I mean, they'd quick swap. If we have this, they quick swap and do electro charge. Yeah, and that's a problem on him. But we have egg and we have that. So if we can get over there, we should be fine. I think we just burst. And we'll be able to heal with the burst, so... Fast action on over, yeah. I mean, we are going to be able to freeze. Okay. Elemental no. skill. Yep. Mercy. Varukasha triggers. Yeah, he's there, but we can handle that. Probably didn't want to play it now I think about this. Never mind, we got another one. It's all good. Back down with you. <laughs> Now, if they have energy, where do they go? They just have some heals on her. Okay. Interesting. So whenever they do their thing, they're going to swap back over there. Um fine by me again i could just end here honestly or they could end if i end i gain three extra dice i don't think they've got a whole lot other than the fact that they're gonna heal her but she'll freeze i mean does it matter well it matters if they get to go first and get the summon that off but at the same time we get the heal 
they aren't going to have more dice than us. And there's good potential that we can start doing some funny business here and just stall out with Kokomi some more. Um, so might as well get the damage in. Not to mention we can theoretically just burst again with Kokomi. She'll also heal back up from that. So going to her. Interesting. Okay. Um, I'm going to end first then. This is going to trigger before that, though, isn't it? So, well, this is, yeah, and it's going to hit the one that's closest. So I guess they just want her to die and then the heal to go to someone else. Probably her. And that's two showing right there. So unless they, they could theoretically have something to get that burst to do, you know, the six and, and whatnot, but... See if we can do more Kokomi business. We'll see if we survive enough to do it, if they have something to get the kill on there. Because that would be, if they have the burst, well, we get to go first anyway, so does it matter? Um, maybe not. And we do have more stuff than them, so this is going to give us an extra die, which is quite nice. I could do that, and then to get the jellyfish out again, that could be a, a, a tactic here. And we can always convert stuff. I don't know if they're going to be able to kill, though. If they have Adeptus Temptation, yeah, they, they kill. Um, but And they need energy for it. It's a very, very high cost thing. I'm not going to play around that. They, they'd be using all of their dice for it. I'm just, I don't think it's worth them trying it. They're probably just going to hit and then, and then they have to swap as well. The second they do anything, they swap over there. So yeah, sure, they're going to sit there and hit us with this, but... I wasn't planning on swapping off of her anytime soon anyways, so go on over to official, I guess, but we're not too concerned about that right now. Um, and Kokomi is just going to tank this out for us, so unless they have some heals, someone's dying this round. And they swap back to her fast action. I guess they're going to go for the burst, so maybe I should have done that. Um, but again, we can just heal it back, or we can just go for the kill right there. Um, so, not too concerned about that. Um, now, do they have something like I haven't lost yet? Does it matter? This body belongs to us. Because again, we can just res. Like, yeah, I guess they could have quick swapped and did that, but truthfully speaking, maybe I should have played that first and then that would have stopped their whole plan. Like, the official doesn't have enough to win this. Like, even with an I haven't lost yet, how is the official going to do that? Much damn, Joe, it's their turn. Oops. Yeah, this just comes in and does two, and then the official attacks, but we can kill, so. Well, no, it's going to do one because she's not there, but boom, or, yeah. And insult the injury. <laughs> egg. <laughs> there, there's always the classic egg. Oh, my God. Unless the dice say otherwise, dear Lord. Unless the dice really say otherwise, what is what is your conspiracy? Okay. No rest for the wicked. Yeah, you just lose though. Thank you for that. We do this. The insulting egg comes out, and then that. The, the, the insult, the injury egg. Okay. Up against this. Let me know the deal. It's really a matter of do they get their uh, their stuff out first, their weapons and whatnot. Um, mm, this is probably not bad, all things considered. Um, yeah, this could be pretty useful here. Do we want to start Cube or Kokomi? Kind of depends who we think they're going to go. Um, Kokomi could be useful. Cube could be useful. Um, there's a lot of things that could be useful here, really. 
maybe electro cube but electro cubes kind of our big damage dealer here so maybe we want to go because it's going to be mona into this so maybe we do just go coco me take heart victory yeah. will be ours Let's we'll see if we can get the old jellyfish out. It does not look like that's going to be the case. Um, but we can get a couple of other things down, so we'll see what happens. Shadows of fate. Yep, elemental skill. So we know how this is going to go. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to place this on cube right now. It's not like we're going to get reactions anytime soon anyways. Liar song, not really what we need. So again, that's what we would want right now. And I'm not wasting any of this stuff. So just to get the stuff going, I guess. Okay, I'm playing that on him. Interesting. They'll be able to quick swap it off. So that's a thing to consider. Um... I'm just going to be prepared for the burst more than anything right now. Let Coco me deal with the damage, and then that's going to be a threat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have more stuff than us, though. Now is a time where we might want Q, because if he comes in there swinging this and then that, like, he's going to do... Already he's looking at like what three to four there. Um no no, he's doing a lot more damage because it's gonna be plus Yeah, he's looking at a lot of damage coming in on that. Um, but only twice, so can we out damage that potentially? Uh that's the tricky thing. Well we'll see here. We don't have Kokomi's skill card in hand either, so we're not gonna get the jellyfish. We know that's where they're going, yeah. Lo and behold. The wind rises. Yeah, there's four showing. Now, we can just try to out damage uh, or out heal that the best that we can. Statistically speaking, we have better odds of drawing her thing. Um, so it might be worth trying. We do get it, nice. So we do get the jellyfish showing, and that's at two, so. Of the deep. Now we can also drop this down and get some value, because now we're showing four to their three. There's normal attacks, ouch. We'll see what they've got going on. They might have some sort of energy, which would be a thing to consider. Yeah, they're gonna heal on him. Free swap, probably to her. Oh, no, nah, her, so they can do whatever fun quick swap business they want to. And then quick swap potentially to her for the freeze. Um, I'm fine because I get to go first, so. We still have egg. We do need some more card draw going on here. That could be helpful if they have something where they could potentially kill, which they might. I don't know if they're going to be able to do seven, though. That's the thing. Like, even if they have Wolf's Gravestone and the Arcane card to whip it out real quick and easy, I don't think they're going to be able to necessarily do it, uh... To do seven immediately. If they hit us with this, yeah, it's going to be like, well, it isn't even going to be plus two because we can get this going. Um, so, we're just trying to, to hold off as much as possible here. He's looking for burst, but we can easily swap around that, so. Now, obviously, if they have the, the energy, they can just quick swap burst kill. Um, that's going to go onto him, so that messes with that now. They are going to fast action to get stuff back. Squall and 
Ouch. Okay. And so you get that going for you. That's nice. Um, if they burst. We could potentially just start whacking. We have to think here, because I don't want to get the freeze out. That's obviously, if they, they go for the kill there, that's going to be a problem, because we'll only have that. Hmm. It seems smarter just to switch to here. Interesting. Switching back to Mona. If we go for it, we could get the kill on potentially Mona, but we do have to convert things, and I don't like that. Um, that's what scares me a little bit, is the fact that we have to convert things. Now, we could also just swap back and go for a normal attack here, or we can just go for the electro charge here, and I don't want her to get hit from a normal attack, so... I think we swap back there. Okay. They healed him. Cool. Yeah, because they could swap back normal attack, kill her for three, and we definitely don't want that, so... We're moving. Okay, that would have been a useful a different round. We do have to start... Playing things. Though. It's not like we're really gonna draw much that's gonna make that electro probably all that useful. But I'll hold on to it just in case. As we can see, just in case. And he does have that going. Another Dunyazard, so they are probably running jet. And well, there's the artifact, so here we go with this. How well are they gonna draw? They've got a lot of cards, and we've got a lot of cards, so time to find out. Fast action freeze is a problem. Shutter. Okay. That's not the end of the world, though, because we do have this. Now, how much is this going to do? Five. So if I played this and then that onto her, we could be probably all right. Of course... Kind of depends on what they do here, as they could just go for the freeze on him, which would be annoying. Let's go back over to Kokume. Worst comes to worst, we swap back and start swinging. Yep, here we go. And there's Liar Song, which of course we don't have Liar Song set up for yet. Putting it back onto her. So they've got a couple of moves. So they're going to attack and then burst is what they're looking to do. We can just stall. Which is what they're doing. They're they're looking to, to stall it out here for sure. Um, okay. You want to stall? We can stall as well. I could do this. They're probably going to quick swap back into her. If that's the case. Or attack with her, and then move into her. Huh. I still have an idea. We might have to use the second one of his. Billowing okay, Down Elemental Skill test. comes out. Cool. Do they have a second Liar Song at all? That would be an interesting thing. Or are they just expecting me to potentially kill and then they go into whatever it is that they go into? That's the other thing to consider. If they have a, what are the odds they have a second liar song? Or a second thing that they can, even if they do, they would have to, I don't think they'd be able to get it off well enough, so. I'm just gonna play that. And wait. Uh, we'll take the one here, but we'll heal it back. And then see where we go from there. We have egg as well if we have to worry about anything, so. They could have free swap, but mm. Okay, Timaeus. They've already played their artifacts, so they can't really play this one for free, but they're probably looking for another gilded. We need to find our first gilded and a lot of our other stuff. 
the stars. Okay, she dies. He comes out. Now we have to be careful. Verukasha is here. That would have been nice, Vonorana, a while ago. Okay, let's think. Do we let Kokomi die for the heals here? If we do, they don't have gamblers, but they might have the arcane card. I don't actually see if they used their arcane card yet. I don't think they did, which means they might have fresh winds of cheese here. So, do we want to risk this? We haven't. Okay. Because he would certainly kill if we wouldn't be able to get back there. Um, the other option is just to go here. Again, we still have this. There's shadows there, which isn't great. Um, we've got that. Could always place Vukasha onto her. Uh, if he normal attacks, we get this, but we still get the freeze off. I think we go here. I think we just played the stall game. Because we have a second of this. And uh, they've got another gilded, so they did draw another gilded. We need to hope we can get a gilded. Normal attack onto that. So they are going to try to go for the freeze here. Sure. Um, obviously, we're going to go for the freeze onto him. We do not get our gilded, which is unfortunate. They have the free swap to move over and the quick swap, so now we play the stall game. Shutter. Ouch. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Are we able to get Vrakasha out? Not sure, but we are going to get this down. I do think we'll be able to get Furukasha out, potentially. Um, because if I swap, swap, and then play that, yeah. Furukasha comes down. Oh, they are going to go for the burst, though. Okay, they end. Cool. Um... Do they have a quick swap to try to quick swap into the Kokomi? Is that their angle here? Quick swap Kokomi is a possibility, or they just take this. Um, again, we still have Egg. So let's think. If they quick swap into him, kill the Kokomi, take out that, that would be a problem. We would definitely want to avoid that. If we switch back over to here, we get the cryo onto her. Um, but we, we have eggs. We potentially deal with that problem. And we have this. So it would give us an extra die. Yeah, I think we wait this out. I don't want them to be able to quick swap kill there. That would be a problem. Cryo comes out there. We heal the two. If gilded, we finally got our gilded, which is nice. We still have our um, other fella. We need Nanatsuki. Um, the Electro is fine, because we probably are going to need to be using that. I don't like having to do this combo with just the Liar songs, but we got to make do here. Nanatsuki comes out, so they're Liar songing like crazy here. Man, so that's that, their last Liar song, so... Yeah, you've got that, but I've got it too, so. Vengeance will be mine. Okay. There is the burst. Cube gets to come out, so now we get to decide a couple of things. Mm, there's Shadow. There's Vokasha. Um Do I just let that go and then grab the Vokasha afterwards? Probably. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. It's gonna get the piercing. They will have enough to do another attack. Normal attack. Yep. Now I could go for the freeze. 
or I could just start swinging. Yeah, they could always swap, though, and kill the Coco me. So, you know, if I freeze, they can also kill the Coco me. So I think one way or the other, we've got to make sure um, the Coco me. Well, does it really matter? We can't use her burst, so I think the Coco me dies regardless. It's just a matter of do we get Hydro on us. If I do that and lose that, though, that's going to be a problem. So I do think we need to yoink this. Yeah, I think we just go for it right now. We, we have egg. They do swap the Wanderer, but it is not a full thing here. The Wanderer can go down. They are gonna go for that. Must learn from my mistakes. Boom. Everything was futile. Now, what can they do here? Because this could potentially kill I haven't lost yet. Do they have an extra die? They've got that. Okay. If I can break through this, because that won't do anything, I have to use you. And that creates this, and then if I do it again, I should have just enough. Not to mention we have the other thing. Yeah, they realize they lost. There we go, overcoming that. The cube stall is strong. This deck really is unique in that for a stall deck, it doesn't play into the normal stall cards. However, because of that, the deck requires that players know how to play stall decks well, especially by utilizing available HP and the two cubes special resurrection abilities. So while the deck is unique and fun, it probably isn't the most beginner friendly deck. This is a deck for players who enjoy stall decks, but want to experience a different playstyle with them. Well, with that being said, if you enjoy the Deckard video, feel free to leave a comment below, and feel free to click on the video here for more Genshin TCG content.